Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, and um, Saturday, October the 30th, 2021, and today's devotional is Be Still and Listen, but before I get started on that, <clears throat> like, share, and subscribe to, this is Michelle Lokerson Vlog, and also, um, oh, and hit the notification bell to know when I uh, put a video out. And also, <clears throat> like, share, and subscribe on um, Sweet Home Heaven as well. Um, over there, I read a chapter um, of my New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. Also, hit the notification over there. But primarily on Sweet Home Heaven, I only do my scripture reading, and that's a chapter a day. And the reason I did it is because <clears throat> I know people are busy, so you can always play the video and set the phone down and be doing, you know, your chore, your house stuff or cooking or whatever. So I thought maybe it would, you know, help some people <clears throat> if, or if you can watch it. And um, this is the devotional for today, um, October the 30th, Saturday, 2021. The devotional, the de um, scripture reference, and then a prayer that I penned. And you're welcome just to stop the video and do your own prayer or you put your name at the end. Either way, it works with me. Uh, <clears throat> all right, guys. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> be still in the, and listen. Excuse me. <clears throat> I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Heaven's bells continually peal with that promise of, his, of my presence. Some people never hear those bells because their minds or earthbound and their hearts are closed to me. Others hear the bells only once or twice in their lifetimes in rare moments of seeking me above all else. <clears throat> my desire is that my sheep hear my voice continually, for I am the ever-present shepherd. Quietness is the classroom where you can learn to hear my voice. Beginners need a quiet place in order to still their minds. As you advance in this discipline, you gradually learn to carry the stillness with you wherever you go. When you step back into the mainstream of life, strain to hear that, that those glorious bells. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. So the first scripture reference is Jeremiah 29, 12, like 29, 12 through 13. <clears throat> Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Pretty straightforward, ain't it? John 10, 14. My ear is itching. <clears throat> all right, John 10, 14. And, okay, we'll do this one first. <clears throat> I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I know by my own and I and I am known by my own. And then <clears throat> John 10:27 and 28. <clears throat> my he, my my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. <clears throat> and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Well that's you know what God gives us so many promises throughout the Bible. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I understand what it's like to be fearful. But <clears throat> once you begin to feel those feelings of fear, you have to learn to um, rebuke them. And, um, and, you know, and one way of doing that is just to... Um, you know, you put the word out, and you know, like, hey, <clears throat> you have no control over me. You have no control over my thoughts. I am in my father's arms, and um, no one can pull me from his hand. And once you begin to do that, you're speaking victory over that fear. So, because I am well aware of what it's like to have fears. I know what it's like to have anxiety. Um, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, though, you can overcome those things. In Christ Jesus, um, you have to ask him, ask him for it, and he, he will give it to you. Now, you can't put him on a timeline, but you got, but you, you know, you can keep reminding him, like I did with smoking. Um, but just understand when you, when you remind him, keep in mind, he knows what this day holds. 
He knows what tomorrow will hold. And so, and if he says no one can tear us from his hand um, or take us from his hand, then you just have to trust trust him that his timing, and it is, it's for your, for your, for your best, for the best thing for you. <clears throat> and, um, and the more you begin to walk a faith walk, uh, the easier it, it gets to be. I mean, you're going to have those hard, difficult times in life, and you're like, uh, why I mean, it may hurt so bad you don't want to go through it. I get it. I've been there. And, um, Sometimes you're just so weak. All you can do is, um, you know, just pray. Um, I've been there many times. And um, I've been so low before that I could sit on a piece of paper and swing my legs. That's how bad it was. But God never forsaked me. He didn't. He couldn't keep me from the pain. You know, because if you don't learn, if you don't feel the pain, how do you learn from it? If, if things are always fixed for your, uh, to make you feel comfortable, you'll never, you'll never grow from that. You have to have, uh, trials and tribulations in your life, but you can have a, the assurance and rest assured though, that God will not forsake you and he won't let anybody, uh, do to you not uh, other than what he allows. So rest in that promise that he gives us. All right. And this is the, um, the, uh, scripture, I mean, my, my, uh, prayer, sorry. <clears throat> Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for another day to bask in your presence. Thank you for your love, mercy, and grace. And thank you for my salvation in Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that gently guides my path. And may I always seek you in everything I do. Thank you for the opportunity to speak of your wonderful works. Thank you for your Thank you for never forsaking, oops, uh, thank you for never forsaking me, even when I, I forsake you. Thank you for your joy and the joy of my salvation. Thank you for your love and forgiveness. Thank you for the trials and tribulations as it has brought me closer to you. Thank you for my children and my <clears throat> and my grandchildren. Thank you for my health and the health of my children and grandchildren. Thank you for your provisions in my life, and may I never take for granted. Thank you for our home, car, utilities, and thank you for our food. Thank you for allowing me to be born in America and for the liberties and inalienable rights given by you. Thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray prosperity for those who have hurt me, and, and may they forgive as I forgive. Thank you, Lord, and I love you. Your child, Michelle. All right, guys. See you on the other channel, Sweet Home uh, Heaven, where we're going to, I think it's Acts chapter 24 today. All right, love you. Bye.